making moves. Tomorrow, Midland County commissioners are deciding how the Midland County Juvenile Detention Center is going to look and operate. The center's chief probation officer tells us it's in need of a full makeover as the industry is shifting to a new format and building a standard of care. News West 9's Rachel Rip, she caught up with Mr. Hanna to find out what you can expect on this project. Takes the story from here. Here we go. It's open. Right now, it screams prison cell. The architects may find some way to refurbish this. But the goal for the Midland County Juvenile Center Master Plan is a prettier picture. Modern facilities now are built with a, uh, an eye to something called trauma-informed design because we have so many kids that have very serious mental health issues. Yes, it's a secure facility, and yet it has elements in it so these kids that have the mental health issues, we can help maybe keep them calm, keep them supported while they're being detained and going through the court process. Very high ceilings, and then you can see the artwork. It's not coddling of criminals, but it's taking care of their mental health needs so that while they're here, we can keep them out of a mental health crisis. The biggest factor was looking for a firm that has done work in the juvenile arena, building a juvenile detention center, is a lot different than just building a jail. Right now, the Barbara Culver Center isn't quite fulfilling the needs of the juveniles living here. One type of facility we do not have that we need is what's called a post-adjudication treatment facility. So kids can be there to receive substance abuse treatment, uh, mental health uh, support, um, but these are long-term placement, nine months, a year, even longer. Hot days and when it's cold and raining without a cover, we really can't use it out here. And it's smelly thanks to plumbing issues. It really stinks in here today. But if commissioners approve an architect tomorrow, master plans to make this place better can begin. Reporting in Midland, Rachel Ripp, Newswest 9.